I'll tell you guys a real funny story here in a second. Well, it'll be funny for you guys. It won't be funny for me. Yeah, see, that's no good in the gutter. Nice big rock. Good morning, everyone. How are you morning. doing on this beautiful Friday? Friday. This week blew by. It did. Anyways, quick update for you guys. Still haven't heard back about the snow plow. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to get it at some point today. But uh, as of right now, we're going to head out to do some leaf cleanups real quick. And uh, not too many big jobs, I no. don't think, on today's list. Just more smaller ones to pick up and uh, should go fairly quickly. And then we're hoping, if we got time, to get down and get some uh, work started on the storage facility. Like I told you guys the other day, uh, we got to just really get some stuff cleaned up that's been a little bit neglected, you know, just because uh, the couple that we purchased it from, you know, they lived an hour away. So they weren't always able to just come right here and pull weeds and all that craziness. So we're going to tackle that. We also have to tackle the signs. Uh, we're going to do something real generic there just for now. I'll probably do like some tape or something, paint. I don't know. Uh, just simply uh, until we get about a month here before we get our signs that we ordered uh, for the business to replace them. So, am I missing anything else, TQ? No, I think that's about it, actually. All right, so enough chit chatting, yip yapping. Let's get into the video. Let's go. Found a bouncy ball, I'm already winning. Bouncy ball. guys so down here at the storage facility gonna get a little bit of maintenance started here just some things that I want to do personal wise uh, I don't know if they're bad or not but I want to start from the top down on this bad boy so that's exactly what we're gonna do TQ is not too uh, fond of heights so she's gonna work on the ground here on some stuff and I'm gonna get up top here and uh, guess I'll show you easier to wheel them around and then we can load them into a plastic bag or just into the truck. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Whatever's easiest for you. This guy's gonna give me a heart attack. Huh? 
can see what this is. Piece of glass. Here. We got a small hole in the gutter right here. I can put caulking on that though. I'll just have to remember to bring caulking. Can you see that hole right here? Yeah. Okay, just so I don't lose that, I'll remember. Dude, this roof is actually in really, really good shape on this side. I'll check the other side. I always hate to take this off. It's ugly. Green's ugly. Alright, watch your eyes. I'll give a put the camera call to where you can go that before and put that piece of paper for that. You can send me everything I need to know. He doesn't have a roof. That's why I want to make sure I got it. Alright guys, so I found a pretty bad spot here. Basically all it is is just grit and has it clogged up. So I'm just pulling it out, throwing it right on the ground because we are going to end up uh, basically like cultivating this entire lot, uh, revitalizing it I guess you can say. But right here coming into this corner, I'm pulling all the uh, caulking out that's on the gaps because it's all broke down and uh, it's kind of what's actually hindering some of the material from moving. So it's getting caught up there and then some leaves on top of it. and. Uh, yeah, but right here seems like the worst part. I've already came around the entire backside. TQ is right over here where I started. So all I have is this section here that is far better than I thought. So I'm going to keep working at it. So I know they make tools for this as well, but I don't have one with me. So the next best thing is just to uh, use your hands. It's just grit. And it's a little bit wet, so not a big deal. This roof is just in really, really good shape, guys. Like, I mean, I make, I wanna make it look better. I hate the green. The green does not go with the concept whatsoever. If you're wondering what this is as well, this is Timken Steel, okay? So Timken, Timken Roller Bearings, that is that entire place there. I, and I mean, it goes way further that way and way further that way. Believe it or not, my grandfather that I never got to meet, my mom's dad, uh, he retired from this place and actually used to live just a couple roads over. I actually used to live a couple roads over as well. And uh, so that's kind of unique to me. So this is AEP's electric facility. And then right down there is a little cafe. This is an older, I guess, older neighborhood uh, part of the city. But we're, uh, we're really looking to give them something that's nice here in this area. And uh, yeah, man, I'm, I can't say it enough. I'm, I'm proud to own this location now. This is an old location. These were built in 50s, mid 50s and 70s. I believe they added another facility on here. There's four total buildings, as you guys know, but uh, it's really cool and very unique as well because Timken has security that patrols this whole area as well. 
and they have really good cameras as well to go along with ours this uh which is really nice as well so motion sensors anytime anybody comes onto the property we immediately get sent to our phone a notification and we can look to see you know if somebody's going into their, their unit somebody's just being goofy any of that stuff what are you doing tq uh, no, I need something that's more like gonna scoop that's probably about the size of my hand. Well, this looks like it will scoop, but it's not the size of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Good thing it doesn't stink. It's really this shingle material and dirt buildup. I've been in some gutters before, guys, back when I did gutters for a seamless spouting company. And I'll tell you what, boy they would knock you on your behind. I'll tell you guys a real funny story here in a second. Well, it'll be funny for you guys. It won't be funny for me. Yeah, see, that's no good in the gutter. Nice big rock. So I'm almost done with this side. I got probably uh, 15, 20 feet left here. So I was working for a, a seamless spouting company back when I was, I don't know, 19, 20 years old roughly, uh, probably 17 years ago, 16 years ago or so. And uh, we were doing an area up in Akron that got hit by a small tornado back then. So a bunch of stuff got destroyed and a uh, bunch of insurance claims. We were putting gutters on all the houses. Well, there was a roofing company that came in from out of state so we pulled up one day to put on to this new roof, uh, new gutters, and uh, you typically tear the old gutters off first, just like these. Uh, these are older style, they're just nails, basically, aluminum nails. You pound them in uh, to the fascia board and they stay there. Now you use like a screw with a hanger that holds the gutter, much more efficient and better. Uh, so anyways, these nails, these big nails here on the gutters, they drove them through and uh, actually hit the wiring that they ran behind the fascia board. And I climbed up the ladder real quick to grab the gutter to start yanking it off for the tear off. And guys, it was electrified and it lit me up. I mean, lit me up. And uh, I came back down, I was working with the boss at the time and uh, he's like, what's wrong? You know, and I'm like, dude, that thing shocked the junk out of me. And he thought I was crazy. And uh, he was actually a firefighter. He's actually a, a fire chief now. And uh, <laughs> he thought I was crazy. So I told him, I said, go up there and touch it. So I don't remember if he went up and touched it. I think he was kind of like, nah, I, I trust you, I believe you. So we ended up leaving that job, calling those guys and telling them they had to fix it. We leave and go to a, the ne very next job for this same company. And here they did it to the garage as well, guys. I climbed up, not, not thinking anything about it, did it a thousand times before that grabbed a hold of the gutter and boom, I mean, this lit me up. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm not doing another job for these guys. He thought the same exact thing. He called them, told them what the heck are they doing basically. And uh, yeah, I don't think we did any more jobs for that company because they didn't know what they were doing or they were doing something wrong, but they were electrifying the gutters and it was not fun for the person tearing them off. <laughs>
that went way quicker than I thought it was going to. Good, good. Good, good. TQ is still working on this corner. I think we're going to definitely have to get a machine in here sooner rather than later. I think uh, she just really wanted to do something while I was up here. She wasn't too fond of climbing up here. So, I figured she worked on that area down here. It's looking a lot better though. Sometimes it just takes a little uh, elbow grease and we got plenty of that for now. Alright, so this is that small portion here after, um, for the most part, we just weren't really wanted to worry about all the big stuff um, that would really catch your eye. It's really an eyesore with all the weeds and everything, and we want to get a good photo too, so whenever we uh, start building our profile online, it will look good. So we got this section. I'll try to get a snapshot of the before to see if you can tell a difference. I can tell a difference here. We got a ton of rain yesterday, so these three here that we're getting a little bit of water in them, we're gonna open them up, see if there's any water in them, and then work on these drains just to, to see what we're working with. Oh, not terrible from last time. I could still see our footprints from in there. <laughs> yeah, no water, that's good. I can yeah. take dust. Door number two. Actually, it's number 18, but who's counting? All right. Ooh, watch your head. And yeah, we got a ton of rain. Yeah, that's a good sign, it's dry. Yeah, I can deal with dry. All right, let's do some more work. It's snowing. Yeah, it is snowing. I like it. I'll take snow over rain. I right? Can we can still work in it. Rain, I can work in too, but you know, it's not as fun. Right. Any cobwebs? Babe, this is big. This is our first unit ever cleaning. <laughs> Make sure I get a screw. I need to put a screw in this bottom panel. It's working itself loose. Right here. To move on to the next one here let that one air out we didn't bring any mask with us we really didn't think about it i'll push through this one you want to be that one this one's cobwebs don't look too bad a little bit in the bottom corner So next week we actually have these two rented out together. Uh, they wanted a 10 by 20, but as of right now, all of our 10 by 20s are booked up and don't look like they're coming vacant anytime soon. Uh, so I told him I can get him into a 10 by 10, but for right now, he's gonna use these two. Uh, that's why we're mainly focusing on them. So then we'll have two, uh, two more uh, 10 by 10s and we have one six by six available. Right here, we actually get to meet one of our first tenants. So TQ didn't realize they were gonna stop there, so she moved the camera temporarily. And luckily I noticed, so I went back and switched it back, but we got to meet this gentleman. He actually runs a construction business out of his uh, storage facility. 
He uh, was just picking up some toilets and a vanity and I think a sink out of his unit and a few other little odd and end things. But it was really cool actually getting to meet somebody. So working on these drains, I got this one cleaned out and it came out fairly easy. Well, the next one wasn't moving. So I started looking a lot closer. I'm like, man, this thing will not budge. Well here, if you look down in there, they're actually bolted to the frame. So I did not bring that attachment. I brought the drill. I thought my big blue tool set was still in, but it's uh, not. So that's gonna squash me taking the rest of those out. I'll just have to come back down tomorrow. There's one there. They're like in sections, one right about here and then further down the one I already showed you. It's not a big deal and I really don't have the proper tool to dig it out. I've been doing it with just a spade shovel, which is fine. And then getting down in there by hand, as you guys probably already seen at this point in hyperlapse. Now TQ's is bringing it back. So if we get rain, it doesn't wash it right back down in there. Look yeah, it yeah. Okay. yeah. Like I told you guys, we're gonna probably come in here and uh, kill this entire lot up. We don't know if we're gonna do it this winter or in the spring, a uh, buddy of ours said, you know, if you soften it up and then we come in here to plow, uh, we're just probably gonna be wasting our time. We need to give it time to settle back down. So we might do it in the spring, I don't know. All right guys, so we got that one cleaned out pretty good. TQ did a good job on this one. Kind of stinks we can't get those two grates out though. So I'm gonna be coming back here tomorrow. We actually gotta meet the mason to fix that wall on the other one. And that one will be good to go once we uh, fix that. So yeah, making some progress here. This one's gonna be almost good. We're gonna take the blower now and blow the rest of the little bit of dust out. This one as well for now. This one down here, uh, it's pretty darn close as well. I'll show you. It's crazy, today's actually been a good day, so. We've uh, received our first payments. Looking good. Wrap it up. Here, take the other end and pop it. Oh. You missed. You missed. There you go. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Good job. Uh. Better already. Can't wait to do the rest of them now. Look at that. It's like night and day. Sitting nice and smooth. Yeah, buddy. Here's what I've been working on. Um, basically, you can see the line of the um, debris, the weeds and everything. I just started from the units and I've been working my way away from them, just pulling out any weeds that are really noticeable and stuff. So I'm just uh, taking it back just a little at a time and then uh, we'll dispose of it all. But lots of progress. So you can kind of see, I'm not sure if you can really make it out. This side here still has all the weeds. Yeah, making progress. TQ got this area knocked out here. As you saw, I did the gutters. We uh, didn't get to the signs today, but we are coming back tomorrow. I believe already stated, uh, we have the Mason coming, which is TQ's dad, coming to fix that one unit so we can get it up. But we got all of the units cleaned, all the fronts, got all the cobwebs out. Uh, all the cameras cleaned as well. 
got that one drain cleaned out i wanted to get the other ones as well but we'll work on those as we can get access into the units it's just extremely hard uh with not, without being able to get into the unit to work on both sides uh but yeah got that cleaned up i do see one piece of trash there and yeah we'll be coming around here to get the rest of this on this side done we did get all the units blown off all the cobwebs up in the corner corners and uh that's the main thing guys i do see a piece of trash there i'd like to get but uh yeah overall we're working at it we will uh get faster at what we're doing i guess <laughs> i'll tell you what a uh, still br600 cleans a unit out pretty quick so i just want to get that piece of trash there and that other piece on the other side uh but all of the gutters were good all right guys so we had to go ahead and call it we got a ton done all of our batteries went dead we were trying to charge another one but it didn't even get done in time and uh yeah we got a ton done though good job tq you too we got a lot more done than uh i expected to get done today yes i know my seatbelt. mine too sorry we just hopped in the truck we had to go 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 yeah we gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> and it's starting to pour down rain on us which earlier wasn't bad because it was just some snow and we can work in snow but what's crazy is it's colder than it was this morning but now it's raining right i don't understand that but i want to say i'm very happy you came out just fine from getting up on those roofs <laughs> it was looking a little sketchy to me i'm like oh my gosh he's gonna give me a heart attack those ones are easy to walk on just uh I don't know they the grit on them is still pretty good i was surprised uh i was really surprised at the shape of the roofs the roofs are in good shape you know i mean obviously they have some wear and tear they've been on there a while but overall they're in good shape so i'm not gonna rush to uh rip them off at the moment uh they are ugly like i've already stated but i think we can deal with ugly for a little bit yes but uh yeah guys hope you enjoyed today's video as always Keep mowing. Keep growing. Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye. Bye. Look, I'm getting my seatbelt on. Me too, me too.